Darren, obviously a, a disappointing, more frustrating, I suppose, performance last week. Have you got the response, though, during training this week you wanted? I think the supporters would have went home with the feeling that we've got a good team uh, that can match anyone. It was disappointing to lose that. Uh, would have been nine games unbeaten, but unfortunately that happened. We had perhaps the most chances that we've ever had with with a team that I've managed. And uh, I thought the players give everything. Unfortunately, that ball just didn't go into the back of the net. But that's football. That happens. Uh, we've moved on. I've shown passion around the building. The players can see that I'm very committed uh, to trying to lead them and keep them motivated and not get too disappointed on the back of that defeat. And uh, we look forward to Carlisle. Yeah, long trips like this, how, how different are they to prepare for? I think Carlisle, just because of the distance, the travel distance, you have to be aware of that. The preparation of the, the week that we've had leading into travelling tomorrow, we're going to leave early, we're going to get up there and uh, we'll get that distance out of our system as soon as we arrive at the hotel. Uh, we've travelled to Accrington and you know, so, so far we know what we're doing and uh, it's been working so we want to make sure that we keep that going. Yeah, on the pitch, Carlisle, second in the table. Have you been surprised by their start to the season? Not really. I think uh, I've managed against them um, three times now. We had uh, the FA Cup disappointment. Uh, we had the, the league game and obviously we've had the, the game at Blackpool uh, playing against Carlisle. So we've had good games against them. We know exactly what they do. Uh, I've watched them. Uh, play against Luton, spoke to Nathan Jones, so he gave me a good debrief on, on how they play. So we're looking forward to it, and uh, our preparation, uh, I think, has been spot on. Yeah, is, is there the pressure on them, given their position in the table, they're at their home side as well, you've got the long trip, of course, to, to make as well, so in some ways does that put more pressure on them going into the game? I think Keith's just built on what he had last year same as Derek Adams at Plymouth. These are managers that have had their, their team, they've had a season. They know the strengths and weaknesses. They know the areas that they need to improve on. But we're in a safe place at the moment. I think uh, we have to be very careful of complacency over the Christmas period because I think that will dictate as to what direction we're going in. We have to make sure we remain focused, determined throughout this Christmas period. and. Uh, Make sure that the players don't eat any extra potatoes because uh, I'm sure we'll find out the ones who have. Yeah, have you got any particular memories of playing up at Carlisle? Yeah, we have many memories. Well, it wasn't so long ago we went 2 0 up against Carlisle at their place and uh, we lost the game 3 2. I think the thing for me is that I've managed against them uh, in my early days of manager and uh, I think the way they play is a real big threat, is a dominant threat, is a physical threat. Uh, you only got to see uh, the Abire incident to know how bad that was. It was perhaps one of the worst that I've seen. And uh, I think it was the first time that we've ever been called up for discipline. But I think when you get that incident, I expect my players to react. So we know it's going to be a physical test. Yeah, and, and how, how do you, therefore, if you know it's going to be physical, do you have to uh, change your preparation in terms of your training regime or methods and so on? I think it's just a different pattern as to the way the ball arrives in the box and you've got to be able to deal with that threat. Um, you know, it's been success for Keith and uh, he's a good manager and they're in that position where they're in because they've got good players, experienced players, players that know how to, to play the game and uh, they're quite clever. Yeah, and looking at the squad, longer term injuries, are there any updates on the likes of Dolan and Ward? They're near to fitness, um, so that's all I can say. Yeah, are you hopeful though they, they may be able to play some part over the Christmas period? Oh, they're working hard, I mean, yeah, it's just a, a matter of, of when.